A morning routine is essential. It grounds you and is your opportunity to ease into the day and make sure that you do what you need to nourish yourself before the busyness sets in. I wanted to share with you 10 things successful people do as part of their morning routine that you can incorporate into your mornings before going to school, uni or work. I like to sleep in a really dark room, so luckily the street lamps aren't near our bedroom and we can sleep with the blinds up. If you can, try and wake up to natural light. This also helps you to wake up at the same time to establish a consistent body clock. It's easy to wake up and lie in bed for a while not wanting to get out from the comfy covers or maybe you jump out of bed in a hurry to start your day. One thing I've tried to do for a while now is to remember my dreams and this is something a lot of successful people I admire do too. Write down any vivid dreams you have in a notebook by your bedside table or even your notes section on your phone, provided you're not gonna then go on social media, because your unconscious is still processing and working while you sleep and often you come up with incredible solutions, ideas and really valuable insights when you pay attention to your dreams. Successful people also talk about the importance of making your bed to start your day with success. By accomplishing something and creating a clean and tidy environment, it sets you up for a productive day ahead. Also, try to avoid social media or emails or any technology and work for at least the first 30 minutes from waking. I found that the first hour of my morning is better served focusing on my own needs, waking up gradually, tending to the houseplants, my dog and husband, and not getting swept up in whatever's happening online. Create your own morning routine that works for you. Everyone's morning routine is a little different and I'm yet to come across any successful person I admire who has the exact same way of starting their mornings. Another way to enhance your morning is to listen to upbeat music while you get ready. I listen to Spotify playlists like Have a Great Day while doing my makeup, but there's so many different kinds of playlists and songs that you might want to listen to as well. It's also important for your body and digestive system that you rehydrate. I like water with lemon and a powdered greens. I know it doesn't sound that great, but it's actually quite nice. Or warm water with lemon, honey, and some ginger. It can be a really helpful way to stimulate your digestive system and also detox the liver. The benefits of meditation are many, and I noticed that every successful person I look up to has been an advocate for morning meditation and deep breathing. You might be rushing through the day and not stop consciously to deep breathe, so at least this way you've practiced a healthier breathing for the first five or 10 minutes of the day. Greet the day outside. Now I know this is easier said than done in the winter time, but if you have a dog, you can go for a walk around the block or even stand outside in the garden for a few moments and just enjoy your cup of tea or coffee or just enjoy your walk to the train station on your way to work or uni or school. I've never thought of using my mornings to nourish my mind, but this has consistently come up when I've heard some of my favourite people speak. There are so many great podcasts and audiobooks to listen to while you get ready or commute to school or work, and I've shared a lot of my favourite ones with you on this channel previously. So comment down below whether you are a morning person, and if not, I hope these tips help you. And make sure to like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications, and follow me at Study With Jess on Instagram. Thanks for watching, lovelies. Bye.